sent to Coventry. To be sent to Coventry. Have you ever been sent to Coventry? What does it mean to be sent to Coventry and where does, does this idiom come from? Well, today I will explain all. Okay. First, today to send someone to Coventry is a British, British idiom meaning to ignore someone or to act as if they are not present. A different way of putting it is the behaviour often taking the form of pretending that the shunned person, although conspicuously present, cannot be seen or heard. This idiom started and originated in the 17th century. But first, we have to understand what Coventry well, is. Coventry is a city just down the road from Birmingham. Yes, that of Peaky Blinders uh, fame of Netflix. And up until the Civil War of the 1640s was the fourth most powerful city in England, having been granted city status in 1345. Today, Coventry is ranked eighth behind, first of all, London, the capital, and second, Birmingham. Yes, Peaky Blinders, city is second. Coventry is a city located in central England and it has a rich history dating back to the 11th century and was once along with Birmingham the centre of the British automotive industry. Sadly during World War II the city was heavily bombed and rebuilt in the 1950s with a modernist architecture. Today Coventry is a vibrant and diverse city with a growing economy, excellent transport links and a variety of cultural attractions, including two cathedrals, the remains of the, the first cathedral and Coventry, the current, current Coventry Cathedral and the Herbert Art Gallery and okay. Museum. Let's look at the idiom itself. During the English Civil War of 1642 to 51, Oliver Cromwell's parliamentary troops captured a group of Birmingham Royalist soldiers and imprisoned them and they were taken to Coventry to be tamed there around 1648. The Coventry residents were parliamentary supporters and so shunned these uh, prisoners and refused to connect with them or consort with them. And so the phrase sent to Coventry was born. Now over 100 years later, the first known citation of this illusory meaning is from the club book of the Tapoli Hunt in 1765. The phrase or meaning inferred by it seems to have been in use in the previous century too. A 1765 publication, the club book of the Tapoli Hunt, comments thus. Mr John Barry, having sent the foxhounds to a different place to what was ordered, was sent to Coventry, but returned upon giving six bottles of claret to the hunt. Oh, such bribery and corruption. It is very clear from Francis Gross's Dictionary of the Vulgar Tongue, a dictionary of slang produced in 1811, that the phrase was in use at that time. Here is what Gross's Dictionary had, to, had this to say about being sent to Coventry. To send one to Coventry is a punishment inflicted by officers of the army on such of their brethren as are testy or have been guilty of improper behaviour not worthy of the cognizance of a court martial. The person sent to Coventry is considered as absent. No one must speak to or answer any question he asks except relative to duty, under penalty of being also sent to the same place, Coventry. On a proper submission, the penitent is recalled and welcomed back by the mess the mess being the barracks, as just returned from a journey to Coventry. Sounds very complicated. The phrase sent to Co Coventry was a common, was a, extremely common in industrial disputes in Britain in the mid 20th century. Anyone who was considered to be unsupportive of the workforce and the strikes was in danger of finding his or her workmates refusing to acknowledge their existence. 
Coincidentally, this was centred on the highly un unionised car industry and especially British Leyland, which was uh, largely based in Coventry. This gave rise to people who had in fact lived and worked in Coventry all their life being sent there figuratively by their workmates. So fancy living in Coventry and you're being sent to Coventry. So how do we use this idiom? The idiom sent to Coventry means to be deliberately excluded from a group or conversation. So, I am not happy with this guy, let's send him to Coventry. These guys are not happy with me, they're not talking to me. They have sent me to Coventry. Well, I hope you've learned another new idiom and the history behind it and the idiom sent to Coventry and how to use it. I will have a new idiom out soon. So, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay.